Hi everyone, this is Dmitry from iRelix.com. In this tutorial I will show you how to bend layers in 3D space inside After Effects using Rika Grid plugin. We have mask, it can be any form. Surface will repeat this form. So let's begin. New composition. New solid layer. With layer selected right mouse button. Effects, iRealix, Rika Grid. Create a new camera. All values is default. OK. Let's rename our layer to keep it organized. With layer selected in effects control, Rika Grid. Turn on 3D mode. We can move our camera to see that our grid is rendered in 3D space. For example, I will use this composition I have created before. It has full HD size. Composition can be animated, but, but we have it still just for example. Uh, let's go back to our comp and put texture to timeline. Let's turn off this layer. Select Erica Grid layer. Effects control. Scroll to bottom. Parameters. Layers. Layer 1. Let's choose our texture here. Now go to shapes. In shape type, complex polygon change texture to quad. In shape texture layer, choose layer 1. And in shape frame splitting, let's choose split image. So now our texture is projected on whole grid. I will increase reduce to make it visible more clear. Ok, now on our record grid layer we need to draw a mask. It can be any shape. Later we can move it as we want. I will add some roundness on these corners. Ok, it looks good for this sample. Next we need to assign this mask. In parameter sections, pass, pass 1, choose mask 1. Now we are going to edit script. Just click in this area. We need to declare our variables. These variables will contain coordinates from pass. The function is described here, get pass. The first parameter is pass index from parameters list. Second parameter is part from pass to take coordinates in range from 0 to 1. The following expression will distribute the points uh, eventually over our paths along the x-axis. Second variable looks the same. Only difference it takes next point to compute. This is necessary to order to calculate the normal at each point and rotate elements along the path. And this is transforming elements position along the path. Let's see what we have. Our elements shift to the right from center position. Let's move it left for now. I will turn camera to see how it works.
So our elements are lined up along the path from the mask. And the position can already be controlled. Move on. We need another variable. xlen equals dist2d. Description is available here. This function is return distance between two points. Now we need to stretch our elements to fill the space. Let's see what we get. Now the element size is computed automatically depending on its count. We can have many elements and each became very small. Next we will orient all elements along the path. And go y equals mass deg mass atan 0.2 minus 0.1 As a result, everything turned out as it should. Increase horizontal count. And we have very smooth surface. We can edit our mask. We have vertical count is set to 10. Actually, we don't need so much. One is enough. Let's edit our script to make it work again. Let's add height element calculation. First, vertical position of elements. and vertical size of elements. Let's see. Now we have grid height linked to vertical size. We can set any vertical count, but we need only one in this sample. And we have another problem. Grid width is not linked to grid size for now. Currently we can stretch it only with mask. This is not good. And another problem. We have the center of the grid now, not in the center. If you rotate that, you can see that is not correct. This must be fixed. I'm going to save it time and just paste the final script with all this problem fixed. The final script will be available in description. Also, I will provide a link to a project file. So now uh, grid which is works fine. And pivot point is the center of the grid.
let's set its original size 9020 by 1080 we can move send camera to change point of view we can move our mask we can even create a new mask for example an ellipse only need to change here from add to none to prevent cutting image by mask here we can assign a new mask now it looks like cylinder mask can be edited like this we can change mask back it's all working it can be rotated same with second mask. 